we're about to witness Darren's whiskey origin story. <laughs> this this oh, is yeah. it. These are the whiskeys that got me into whiskey. Oh, really? Yeah. Red breast Irish whiskey. We're going back to our roots. Yes. This is some good old stuff, I tell you. Nice. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Two Irishmen excited about drinking whiskey. <laughs> what? what is this? Do you know kind of much about what they do? Have you just had the one or? Uh, no, I don't know anything about it. I just drank it. Very and good. And it makes me happy. Nice. Look at this, this is adorable. Look at that bottle. Single pot. That, Still. that bottle is an absolute unit. Redbreast is defined by sherry casks. Oh. So they use, for all their whiskies, there's a heavy influence of sherry casks from Spain, which gives you Christmas cake flavors. Cheers, slant rooney slant rooney are we necking it? We're necking it. Well, I, I was gonna have a sip. <laughs> My nose gets in the way of the glass. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a narrow opening at the top. Yeah, and I, we, we, we've, <laughs> go, we've both got proper man noses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great big honking schnoz. That is smooth. That is a delicious whiskey. Get comfortable, this is gonna be a long video. That smells like over a hundred years. Yeah. of perfecting whiskey. There's a lot of history, a lot, of, a lot character. of history. It just blends into your mouth. It just reaches everywhere. There's none of that sharpness at the back of your throat. You no. know, and after you drink that, that is just, oh yeah. Not to disparage other Irish whiskies. I'm just gonna put it this way. It's Bruce Springsteen's favorite whiskey, so that says a lot. The boss. The, bo the boss knows best. The amount of people in our history and culture mm -hmm. that has had the same moment that we just had there of sipping know, this, yeah. sharing many stories yeah. over, over the years. And here, here's us two gabbing on the internet. On the internet. To, We've I evolved know. from like in I the know. pub talking about, know. you know, Pierce, and here we are. So this is great. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you guys anymore. I just want to drink this whiskey. I'm a hooer for a sherry cask. <laughs> I just, do you drink sherry? If I'm like trying to seduce an eight year old woman. An 80 year old woman drinks sherry. Mm. Yeah. And if she's drinking sherry, she doesn't mind a bit of... Uh, panky panky. Yeah, it does get dirty. At the end of the day, I, you know, if you drink it and you like it, you don't really need to know what's in it, you know? You're just like, hey, I like that. And that's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is the standard bearer of the Redbreast range. This is actually the one that I feel like is my everyday drinker, more so than any of the others. Yeah. Um, I won't lie to you. Looks like a whiskey. It does look like a whiskey. It's yes. Martin. One of these videos. Martin is getting drunk. It matured in the finest hand selected sherry casks. Are, Are we worthy? worthy? We're so not worthy. We're not a, worthy. A unique collaboration between Bodegas Lustau and the yeah. Middleton Distillery. Uh, so basically, the whiskey, man, they just chuck it in a barrel, leave it there for 12 years, then chuck it in another barrel for a year, and then take it out. Really, what we're tasting and that's what is the flavors are. wood. Yeah. The wood makes it good. Uh, look Cheers. Cheers. Fuck me. That. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you finish it, you might. <laughs> nice. That's gorgeous. That's really nice. Stunning. Yeah. Did you just do any die there? No, I was laughing at your... <laughs> yeah, the first one was great, but this one's on a whole other level. This one's like a fucking limousine. This one is like luxury. This one is happy days. Sultana-y, pruney, raisiny, other fruits I don't eat. It's like one of the women I have sex with when I'm having a sherry with her. Pruney, you know? Eat many prunes as well. <laughs> that is delicious. It's pretty good. I, I will admit though, I don't know if I, I think I prefer the last one. I think because you're an OG. Whiskey drinkers out there who can have a taste of something and go, yeah, yeah, I get the a hint of this, a hint of that, which I think is amazing. But for me, they kind of taste the same. I'm gonna put that out there. I'm gonna say it's not like I didn't want to say it because it makes me feel <laughs> like I shouldn't be saying it. But like for me, they're they're very similar. Lestow is great. I am a big fan of Lestow. More people need to be a big fan of Lestow. Yeah, I'm converted. The taste of it, it's mm -hmm. fab. This is yeah. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's pretty good. Compared to the last one? Not as good. I think. <laughs> I know myself, uh, something that's aged in uh, Old Russo cask, that sherry, that's pretty much my fucking favorite. That's my jam, that sweetness. Okay. But that. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, no, it is nice. Don't get me wrong. 
I'm just finding it hard to taste the, the differences and the nuances. Mm. The nuances. Nuances. The only difference for me is that it has an orange top instead of a red one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I like actually? So to point out, on all the different red breasts, the birds are in different stage of flight. Oh. So I think on red breast 12, he's just like sitting there. And then the stow, he's like, and then on 15, he's like, the red breast uh, 50 year old is just uh, the birds on the ground, there's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> this smells strong. This smells like whiskey. It smells like whiskey. I think, it I think we're having whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, I think it's whiskey. Right. 46% again, aged 15 mm. years. Now I'm going to say a controversial opinion. I've said on this channel many times that I love all whiskey, and I do love red breast 15. I prefer 12. Highly awarded and critically acclaimed Red Breast 15 is a single pot still Irish whiskey comprising exclusively of pot still whiskies which have been triple distilled and matured in the finest oak casks for no less than 15 years. No less. No less. This ain't no 14 year old no, whiskey. No, this ain't it's no 14 and 364 days. Yeah, get that shit out of here. Stone fruit mingles with cracked pepper giving way to barley and toasted wood. That sounds like somebody, something somebody would say in a spy movie to activate a sleeper oh. agent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounds like a very weird Lonely Hearts column. You know, stone fruit looking to mingle. <laughs> Let's find out. Tick. It's very good. It's, it is very good. I can't use the same as a 12 year old. A little bit with a long and sophisticated finish. It's yeah, I absolutely did not understand what that meant by that, and now I understand. I know I say this a lot when I'm drinking, yeah. but that is way too drinkable. Go on, have some more there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're twisting me arm, Graham. You're twisting me arm. Slightly, like, bitter flavor. Shut up. <laughs> no, not in a bad way. Like, kind of chocolatey. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. I said, no, I think I, yeah, I think I'm more on the first yeah. one. Yeah. But again, this is 46%. So if you wanted something with a bit more of a kick, kick. a bit more of a oomph. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Even though for the 40, 46%, we're not whack out. Like, you know, no. it's not. No. It's not overpairing. I'm terrible at describing whiskeys. Like, they're good, man. Yeah. I love whiskey. This is nice. I, I think that, that that is what it boils down to. It's either good or bad or okay. Yeah. And this is good but this is very good. As someone who prefers the 12 over the 15, I haven't had 15 in a long time, and it's actually better than I remember. In the case of most alcohol, it's who you're drinking with. It's it. Do you know what I mean? I've noticed you've not been scoring these. We'll get, we'll get to that. Uh, this one I'm gonna give an eight because it's very similar to the 12. Very similar. But I'm really set on that second album. That's fair. No, that's totally fair. It's weird. I was gonna give it a ten. I feel like it was a ten out of ten or something. <laughs> She's so very familiar there. No, I think I'm the only person who's rated anything a ten on this channel. Oh, that's. I think that's the darkest Straight whiskey I've ever dark. seen. Wow. This is the best whiskey I have had so far in 2022. Wow. This is an award. Congratulations. I'd like to thank the subscribers of the Try Channel for giving me this opportunity. So gracious, so gracious. Let's crack this baby open. Hello, <laughs> drink me. <laughs> you want me in you? Oh, even that long, even that, even that by itself. Oh, <laughs> did, you, did you see that? My did you gosh. see that? It's the same color as my shirt. <laughs> Ah, yeah, but this isn't crinkled. So this is, um, and then, oh my goodness. Ooh, all sherry. <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're going all sherry all right sherry, now. All sherry, no breaks. <laughs> all sherry. All sherry. All sherry. All sherry, so all sherry all the time. Exclusively hand-selected by our master blender, Billy Lighton, laid down to mature in the Middleton Distillery. This cask represents a unique and singular nuanced expression of red breast. This red breast all sherry single cask is a joy to behold in each and every bowl. You were talking at the first whiskey that you were like, oh, there's so much history to this. And then here's us yahoos going, oh, Yeah, oh. I know, I know. And I've never felt more like that with this, where it's like, this is a master <laughs> blender crafted this drink. And we were like, <laughs> I'm just making a video for the internet. Huh? 60. 60.2% folks. So it's an all sherry cask. So there's no American barrels. Ooh. It is entirely sherry matured. 
Sixty percent. Let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can smell the alcohol. Oh, oh man, that's good, isn't it? It's very good. Yep, that's sixty percent. All right. That is 60.2% alcohol. What? Yeah, 60.2%. That is the smoothest cast strength I have ever had. And it's like, it stays in your breath. <laughs> I've like, I've breathed in and out about four times and I'm still breathing in the fumes of the whiskey. Like that is 60.2% volume and that is not making me go, ah, yeah. They, they're doing a high wire balancing act there, having it at 60% and still making it so fucking smooth. smooth. If they're watching, if Fred Breast are watching, I'm opening my own shop. And if you want to develop something for there, maybe in the, you know, 18 year old range. Just, just, just yeah. give me whiskey. Send me the sherry you're using. Send me the casks, I'll lick the casks. Do you think, do you think Darren's gonna like this? Darren, I don't think knows that much about whiskey. Darren, do you uh, like this? Show me one example of Darren saying something that he knows about whiskey. The thing about cast strength is, so like you, you don't water it down after it's left the barrel. The sign of a good cast strength is when it doesn't feel like it's cast strength. Oh, you, you, you just showed one? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I think you'd prefer it if there wasn't, if it wasn't as high alcohol content. Yeah. I think it'd be like that even just like, just, you know. <laughs> that, that is, that's, that that's is the actually... only way to describe it. <laughs> I mean, I know you don't understand, but I'm sitting here and I'm experiencing it and that fucking sums it up. Yeah. Colin's standing just off camera to get all the glasses and everything, but... No, 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 whoa. No, no, I kind of actually need the... Uh... Oh. But, but, do you have a cask? I'll lick a cask. Martin, don't worry, don't worry. Get out there, just do it, it. stop whatever you're doing and just go out and buy yourself a bottle of red breast. It doesn't yeah. matter which one it is. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you're going to enjoy them. I think after having a bunch of red breasts, I think I need a bed breast. Because uh, that 6% really, really wipes you out. Um, You'd be tweeting all the way home. You you like your whiskey. I love a, I love a whiskey. Like? Love a whiskey. Love a whiskey. You're an aficionado. So I've had the 12 year old, had the 15 yes. year old. I didn't have the other two. Mm -hmm. But they're all great. And they're all great in different ways. Mm. Here's what I will say. They're all 10 out of 10s. Yes. Did I just do that? Hey everybody, thanks for watching today's video where we tried some red breast. If you thought this video was the best, then please like and subscribe and stick around for all the videos that we have on offer. And I'm sure there's a playlist to try and some alcohol vids if you want to keep that drink train running.